All right, thank you. All right, we have we have some uh, laymen among among the audience, so I will I will take us to to uh, section thirty seven of the uh, constitution. Sub subsection one: Every person has a right to full protection of the law, and the succeeding provisions of this act are intended to ensure that the, that right is fully available, especially to a person in custody or charged or charged with offenses. Uh, subsection 3, a person charged with an offense shall under, sorry, shall unless the charge is withdrawn, be afforded a fair hearing within a reasonable time by an independent and impartial court. So that is a constitutional uh, requirement. And I believe the our friends from the police and, and um, even the judges at the National Court and Magistrates are fully, fully aware of of the requirement under, under the Constitution. At the same time, our our defense counsels and uh, prosecuting uh, uh, prosecuting counsels from uh, the PP are also fully aware of this. So, um, for us in the in the committal court, we we also when dealing with matters that are being registered before us, we are also mindful of Section 37. All right, we've we've gone through the the functions of the committal court. And uh, also the the statistics that um, for for each new Britain, and uh, those are statistics that we could um, learn from, and maybe a takeaway, and, and even the the um, the functions that we've we've um, we've heard through Mr. Mr. Amanu. I will now uh, take us through our, our challenges. All right, as you heard this uh, this morning, that the uh, chief magistrate um, stated that that, that uh, the three months now has been uh, has been um, removed, and meaning that um, we we can keep uh, uh, adjourning matters for a while, a little bit more than three months, but uh, not forgetting that um, we magistrates still have our discretions on uh, based on what is brought before us and on the. Um, and the um, um, advice that we get from um, from prosecution who are, who are from prosecutors who are, who are prosecuting um, uh, a committal matters before the court. All right, three months is not a law, but a practice developed over time. Uh, some of us we joined the uh, magistracy. Uh, about nine, the nine, early 1990s, and uh, when we, we we came in to be um, uh, hearing cases, they when we were put through the committal track, we we, we found out that um, three months was the, was the minimum requirement or the maximum minimum uh, maximum requirement in order for a matter to be uh, to be uh, to run through the committal process. Um, uh, sometimes, uh, from from experience and from my observation, uh, cases like um, uh, fraud cases, it takes a while. We understand it takes a while for for investigators to uh, to compile compile a file, and sometimes we uh, we bear with them. Uh, but the, the the takeaway for the police this uh, this afternoon is is that uh, um, if you if you gonna prosecute, if you gonna apply for for a, for a, for an adjournment. At least we have some something constructive from the investigator, so we can. We are, we also uh, have a duty to to, uh, to explain to the to, to the defendant. So sometimes uh, defendants want to uh, once they before us and we said, okay, we'll adjourn your matter again. But we are not talking. You adjourn again. You know we could see it from their face. Uh, they they complain. So we need to have some something uh, 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 constructive that the the prosecutor should should present before us from the investigator, and maybe a a, a memo or a, a letter or something, so that we can uh, we can keep the 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 defendant as, uh, at ease. Uh, this is especially for the ones that were in custody because um, sometimes we keep them a little bit longer. They 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 uh, break out from jail. Election certificates. <laughs> Um, these are for scheduled two offenses. Uh, many times, maybe it's a takeaway for PP. Uh, we, for
from observations, there should be a dialogue between between prosecution and uh, NPP at or, or, um, at um, at uh, most of the time. Maybe uh, assign a specific day during the month or during the week that you could sit down together and work through files so that uh, we don't um, hold people in custody for a very long time. So, th so that is one of our, one of our challenges, the election election certificates. All right. The other main uh, challenge for the courts in, in completing or fast tracking a committal matter is the non-availability of investigating officers and police police prosecutors. Uh, sometimes uh, investigators are taken out from Eastern Britain, they go over to New Island or to Lihir, uh, as uh, uh, Isona mentioned in the morning. That um, and, and, and even I think the national court they also um, face with this with this issue as well, especially when a matter that has been uh, a defendant that which has been com commit, uh, committed and the national court is sitting to uh, assign a, a, trail, a trial date, then uh, PP would, would, would remind the court that oh, the investigating officer is not on the ground, is following some, uh, doing some investigations in New Ireland or in, uh, in, in West New Britain. So maybe that is uh, something that for, for the police to, uh, to take away. Uh, police prosecutors as well, now there is a common practice with, with the police department. When there is a mobile uh, squad from Tomaringa that goes to Southern Islands, they, they pick up our prosecutors from here and they go away with them. They black and serve them, and make one of them case, blah, 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 delays at number. And uh, we also uh, have the experience of um, prosecutors from outside. Say if a mobile squad from Karawagi are in, are in Kokopo, then they bring their own prosecutors. I don't know if they the reason behind it. Maybe uh, later on during our uh, discussions in the afternoon, the police can clarify that. Maybe Mr. Uh, Chief Bo uh, Inspector Boas could, um, could clarify. All right, that's similar to the other challenges is the arresting officers and uh, police prosecutors call out for other operational duties such as election, ethnic clashes, etc. All right, our other challenge is uh, bail. Bails, uh, we, we'd like, uh, for, for the last three years or so, we are now demanding for proper bail applications to, to be filed. And uh, we, we actually ask the, the relatives, if there's a relative in court, we, we normally um, ask them to seek the, uh, seek uh, assistance of uh, public uh, solicitors to file proper in the national court if they are refusing bail. And uh, we, we also demand for for um, guarantors, not not relatives, but people who are, who are actually um, uh, leaders in that particular community. All right, for for the, our information, East New Britain now is um, with with the eruptions. There's some places in uh, in East New Britain that some of us, especially from Rabaul, we have three homes. People at Gele Gele have three homes as well. Some some of them they commit a crime at Gele Gele, they run away to, to um, Matalao and all these other places in Rabaul. Or if their relatives or their family member have blocks down Gazelle, they, they also move that way. So uh, we, there is the one, one reason why we, we demand for proper uh, bail applications to, to be um, filed before us. And maybe also uh, in the National Court as well. And then the opening of the, of the highway as well, and uh, traveling by boat to New Island. So there are access uh, means that people uh, surely leave after they've, they've paid for their bail. All right, uh, through our discussions in the last two nights, uh, while we were preparing the, the, um, this uh, presentation, we, we actually posed the question that uh, if, a, if the National Court grants bail to a particular defendant who's, who still have a pending matter in the, uh, in the committal court, in the event that uh, he has gone bail and does not turn up, do we have the, does the district court have the power to revoke that bail? Because the conditions and uh, bail were set by the National Court. Maybe that's something for, uh, for us to talk, uh, do alone after, after the presentations. All right, our other challenge is um, 
the non availability in relation to uh, juvenile um, juvenile uh, uh, offenders um, but charged with indictable offenses um, he also faced with the non availability uh, of the juvenile justice officer at times uh, maybe she's up at the national court and and that is some this is that is a big challenge for for East new britain because she is required to also appear in the in the summary court in relation to uh, matters that are or for juveniles that are being charged with a summary offence. Uh, transfers of remandis, uh, maybe it's a, this should be a takeaway for the police. Um, we have three police stations in the province, that is Rabaul, Coco Point, Keravet. At times, when we remand prisoners, or to the extent of uh, sentences, uh, remandis or prisoners are not being moved quickly. And uh, at times we, they go missing at the cells in, in Kokopo. So maybe that is um, uh, Chief Inspector Boas, maybe it's a takeaway for you. Uh, and you've been here before. Uh, prosecution and warrants and summons are not fully uh, fully equipped. At least uh, there should be a cell, um, uh, a cell vehicle for prison went for a bowl, uh, Kokopo and Keravet. Uh, many times uh, uh, prosecutors are uh, left uh, dry because there's no vehicle available. Uh, this also uh, extends to the non enforcement of uh, bench warrants, that is for both the district court and national court. And I think um, the police hierarchy in this New Britain need to pay attention to, um, to those two, uh, two uh, very um, important sections that supports the court in the province. All right. Um, our other challenge is a. It's our wish for a specific, uh, specific uh, national court uh, criminal callover dates. Uh, in the past, uh, we normally have, um, with a, we normally have um, Mondays, Mondays uh, callover dates for for fresh uh, committals, those whom we, whom we have committed to the national court. Um, here we are doing uh, general adjournments, and maybe uh, it's a takeaway for uh, our judges and judge administrator. Maybe we should agree on a specific date in a month, or maybe, uh, for instance, uh, bi-weekly. If we are, if we, if we commit this week, then uh, the defendant should appear the following Monday, not next week, but the following. So it gives us the space to our clerks to move files between uh, PP and PubSol and maybe private lawyers to serve, and uh, even the um, to, uh, AR in the National Court. So maybe uh, we should, we should um, uh, bearing in mind uh, Section 37 of the Constitution. And also, um, I would encourage um, consultation between uh, PP and Pabsol and the other lawyers with the AR in the National Court, so we could maybe some, some defendants who could uh, plea or the ones that we've, we've committed for sentence, uh, maybe uh, it's good to deal with them and um, then give um, opportunity to those who, uh, who uh, need to go on trial. So that's basically um, the challenges that um, we, we face as a, as a court, but it's good that, uh, thank you once again, uh, uh, Justice Kasman and uh, uh, Justice uh, Tusais for organizing this, this workshop um, in order that uh, we don't only walk away here uh, with nothing, but at least we we try to uh, uh, connect every every agency of government in the um, in the uh, law and justice sector so that we can find a, a pathway that is uh, friendly and uh, also for our users as well. So with that, thank you very much.